The ecology of my life. Well, that's interesting. It's, uh... It is the very epitome of local, sustainable, and yet international at the same time. For me, in the beginning, I was taught, maybe not so much by my family, but by other musicians in the community, to stay root-bound, to stay tightly focused on just our sound, our identity, and eschew the outside world. <laughs> What I do here on this property is a lot of what I do here in my mandolin shop. It's preserving tradition and it's nourishing what I think is the right thing based on tradition. This particular mandolin was made in 1924 and was owned by one of the great classical mandolin players of the New York scene of the 50s and 60s, Howard Fry. His wife uh, presented me with this mandolin after Howard's death for all the many highnesses. <laughs> This land was the uh, land of a prosperous Afro-American farmer in the 19th and early 20th centuries. And this is where the baptizings were held for the Afro-American church. The sounds of the river and the wind, the little waterfall up there. And as we walked down the hill, we heard a hawk. I mean, that's all, that's all music. I get a sense of the group collective when I'm by the river. And at the same time, I think about the water coming over the dam up there and uh, each little droplet forming into this hole of unity, into this big pool. And I tell you a secret, this is also the best fishing spot in the county. But don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> At one point in my life, I made the mistake of thinking that music and music business were the same thing, but they, they're not. And the frustration of not realizing that dichotomy was pretty intense for me. I couldn't understand why, when my music was what it is, that then the world didn't bestow upon me a nice, comfortable living. I would love to have taken that young man aside and say, look, I can save you, you know, about 10 years of heartache here by just telling you that, uh, yeah, you care for this music. It's a part of you. It's, it's what sustains you. It's the backdrop of your life. It's so important to you. be in harmony with yourself and to be in harmony with those around you is a lot like the natural flow down on the river where the trees and the birds are singing together and it's not manufactured for a purpose. It's not intended to sell downloads. It's just because it is. It is the essence of art. It's like children playing in the street and cries of joy. 
there's no purpose other than sheer delight there. And that's where I want my music to be now.